Uh, good day, guys. Uh, my name is Noel Harris, and I'm from a company called C3D. And basically, my background is I'm a civil and structural draftsman with 20 years' experience in the game. And uh, we've exclusively worked within the microstation Bentley CAD environment. And we've come across uh, one of the add-ons, which is context capture. And I'd just like to showcase the capabilities of the software within the CAD space and what we're able to do with regard to reality modeling. Because it's changed from the old days of a clipboard and a measuring tape to the point where we're able to give you a complete model that's so detailed with so much reality that it alleviates the need for the site visit. That's how much detail we can achieve. So without further ado, let's go ahead with that. So basically, like I said, our background is modeling in the CAD space, but having come across the drone technology, we are now able to get into the CAD environment with an as-built live reality mesh that you can snap to and work your way around that area. Next one. Okay, so I'd like to walk you through two examples that we had on site with actual clients that requested, uh, in the first instance, we. Bentley, Microstation moved into a new office, and the landlord asked us if you could just give him an as-built uh, view of what his building looks like, as well as for future planning as an asset management on his side there. So we flew the site, and it basically took us three days to compile a model that we could use within the CAD environment. Uh, so it was a day of flying, 250 images using the Phantom, and two to three days of processing, okay? Once that model was compiled, we were then able to showcase it. Next slide, everyone. Okay. As I said, you've been able to have a quickly constructed 3D model with an accurate representation of existing conditions, which will improve uh, critical decision making. And you'll see there's a software that we use as well to sh uh, share the model amongst all stakeholders. And you don't need to be a CAD operator per se. You can just navigate with a, a normal mouse, and that's a free download called a Q3D uh, viewer, but we'll get to that on the next slide, okay? Yeah, okay, next slide. So here's the video, as, and I'll talk you through the video of the actual site. Is it plain? Okay. So that's the headquarters, and that is within the three, uh, Q3D viewer, okay? That model is built to the point it's a mesh and not a point cloud. You can snap, you can measure areas, volumes, distances at the click of a button. Quick as that, and that's, you know, what you're dealing with, what area you need to cover, what volume, even areas, even distances, like I'm saying, like I looked at Dean Foley's example of that facade. If you need to know what area you need to repair in discussions with your contractor, you, with this technology, you don't need to climb, endanger yourself. Within three days, you can have this sh uh, shared in amongst all stakeholders, making your decisions from the contractor, QS, project manager, even areas, if you needed to waterproof that area and you call in your subcontractor, as a maintenance guy, you could say, okay, that's a full area that we need to cover now that I've got that model. The accurate, accurate decision making can happen once you've got the, the final product. Even that facade, this is gonna be a measuring up of a facade. How quick and easy is that? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, next one. And then the next example was a classic example where we use the model within the CAD environment. The brief from the client was the workers were, weren't wor uh, happy with the working conditions. They were working on a platform where they weren't feeling safe. And they requested a new platform be built so that uh, for future maintenance and handling they could uh, use the model, okay? We were 
limited with a short shutdown period. We had limited information from a mechanical point of view, no piping information, no electrical information. And we were tasked to fly the area and com uh, come up with a scheme with a new platform, okay? It took 290 photos, <coughs> four hours of flying, and within two days we had a 3D model of the area in question that the client needed to uh, evaluate and see what was the best way forward without shutting down the plant, okay? So next one, Ron. Okay. So, okay. We had a Tekla model. So I don't know, I'm speaking CAD environment, but that's a Tekla model from the client of his as-built structure that he has. That's the only as-built uh, Tekla model that he had, which is a CAD platform of the existing structure, okay? <coughs> That's the our 3D reality model that we could clip and wrap around these particular model to showcase what the problems and the limitations are in the area we needed to work. And according to their as built, the items called cyclones on top of that structure there that they reckon was the as built. And we needed to create a new platform so that the workers could get up to that level there and access all of those <coughs> actuators there, those cyclones there, that vicinity there. So we had to come up with a scheme that would give them the platform, give them the access without shutting down. And, and if you look at that platform there, where the asphalt and where the, the true position of the cyclones were, were two uh, variations. And we were able to showcase that to say, it's not actually in that position, that's a true position of the cyclone. So there we were, we were adding a new platform to that. We, they needed to find out routing. Uh, they were initially wanted to do scaffolding in the lifeline. There's the mesh format that we can drop it down to so you can snap in a CAD environment. That's how it, this process is called aerial triangulation, where it's taking 2D photogrammetry and generating a 3D model of that. And here's the actual installation process once the model was built. With the planning, they could construct an entire uh, structure, move it into position, and be assured that there would be no clashes with that structure up there. Also, one of the limitations were, like from a safety point of view, they wanted to know height clearances, which was the best routing for the cranes, and all of that discussion happened all around a few 3D view where people could, uh, all stakeholders from safety, QS, project manager, decision making was made easier, quicker, faster, because you had accurate information at the tip of your hand. As you can see, that platform's coming into position now, missing all of that cyclone pipe work. If we had to measure this up by hand, we'd have been there for weeks. Within three days, we had a, a product that could be used within the care environment, sh uh, shared with all stakeholders involved, giving you a hands-on, real-time feel of what you've got on the site. And even, I'll just show you where those two photos come up. Can you see there? None of that was available to us, but from an existing drawing point of view. Here you can see even that flash, Detection was avoided having a model in place, and we could identify that up front. Even there, our structures fit in suite within that existing uh, structure. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, hassle free, complications, uh, resounding success, accuracy level uh, 30 to 50, and we can combine it with the uh, point cloud as well to give us 2 millimeter accuracy as well in this environment. So, it takes and alleviates the need to visit sites takes away and alleviates the need to <coughs> site induction. Uh, I'm speaking from a construction background. It takes us three, four days to get onto site. If we send one team out here to document this, 
will have just at your fingertips that you can deploy amongst project managers. You can deploy amongst the CAD environment, designers. Even we can verify quantities like uh, QS. You say you, uh, the, the contractor says it's moved 70 cubes of uh, material in, in this first week. Uh, in the second week, we can verify with another flight and say, listen, guys, actually, you, you haven't. And you can share, share that information live with the client, the QS, and the contractor. You can plan ahead. And there's so much benefit using this technology, like I'm saying. And the beauty that we find is with a CAD environment, we bend the microstation uses. So the platformers, the 3D modeling, this lends itself to the reality that we need to see, the details we need to see. It, it prevents us having to go back to site and re-measure and, and, and do stuff like that. So thank you for your time and yeah, that's it.